And we go in search of perfect childcare as the children's minister faces her critics on the hot issue of the moment. Welcome to Newsnight, all about the difference between England and France a reception year and um, nursery. Now, how do we want our kids to be raised and what role should the government have in looking after them? If childminders were more qualified, they could look after more children at a time, childcare would cost less, children would be better behaved. Make sense? Well, the French think it does, and our education minister, Liz Truss, agrees with them. So we sent Allegra Stratton on the search of Gallic Angels to see whether... ...channel. Look at these faces very carefully. They seem perfectly normal, but from a very young age they've become more disciplined, more socialised, more attentive, more mind-bogglingly angelic. By the way, they're French. If on the rare occasion a French child throws a tantrum or throws some food, it's because, we're told, they've been given permission to do so. That's the idea we're going to test with a government minister on a trip to France. Before we head off to check this little angel thesis, I want someone of my own to test any claims that we hear in France. Hello, Leila. Yes, it's Leila. Hi, oh, Leila. It's Allegra from Newsnight. Hello. Come on in. Cheers. So, we have French mother Leila. She has three children who, at various stages in their upbringing, have experienced both systems. We'll be coming back to Leila at her home in Oxford later. Until the children go to school, enter school, parents are really struggling here. And probably in France, they do not as much. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, it's the time of the 5 7. So last Tuesday, we got up and out with Government Minister for Children Liz Truss. We're on a research expedition into early years education. This place, the Ecole Maternelle, is a nursery, but it's actually more like a school. Three-year-olds attend it a year earlier than attending school in the United Kingdom. One of the problems we've got in Britain is quite a lot of kids arrive at school not able to sit, concentrate in lessons, and that means that they'll get behind further on in their school career. What these children are doing is that they're being led by really qualified professionals who know what they're doing, who can operate with large groups and encourage that self-reliance amongst children. The children here are not shouting out or running about, they're actually concentrating on what the teacher is saying, that's so important. You would see this in some nurseries in the UK, but only about a third of nurseries, whereas it's an entitlement for all children in France. The head teacher has hosted a large delegation from the British government. Why does he think they're mesmerised by his school? Language is really improving very fast. Um, we, we can see that they develop social uh, relationships very, very quick. Um, and uh, they, they become quite deep as well for this age. And uh, as well, they, they improve um, their abilities about uh, being ready to learn how, how to read, how to write. What did Leila's son Gabriel make of the Echo Maternelle? He has taken very much advantages of, of being schooled uh, that, that early, that he enjoyed it, that he was ready to have other relationships, and that he started to uh, build up its own path, confidence, knowledge. What does the big sister think? They have these sort of stricter methods of of, of teaching children and here we learn through games and through all that so we learn more discipline in France. Discipline at three years old but also in the earlier years. As we travelled round nurseries we met childminders with high qualifications where one looked after eight two-year-olds. <laughs> Liz Truss is shifting Britain to this French system, one to eight, and if the minder is looking after children at home, it will be one to four. Liz Truss has been much criticised for this shift, but she thinks it's possible. 
My colleague Jacob Rees-Mogg has four under fives and they're capable of looking after them and I think we should allow that flexibility to child minders as well. So we're saying it should be all down to individual child minders about how many children they think it's right to look after or what fits with their life. Back in Oxford, Layla gave ratios a mixed report card. When my last baby started on a French uh, city council run nurse nursery, she was six months old, and so she was one of eight children for, for one carer. And I thought it was a bit hard after the ex experiencing uh, the, the British ratios of uh, three children for one carer. But Leila does agree with Liz Truss that all round, provision in France is better. And this means that more French mothers than British mothers work. Two thirds of mums in Britain go out to work. And I'm very concerned that those mums who often have to go out to work for economic reasons, and this is a trend across the world, you know, in all developed countries, dual income families are now the norm. I'm very concerned that those mums are made to feel guilty about a choice they don't really have. In France, probably, you know, the experience of women are the same than the experience of British women. We are juggling. Probably, you know, we've got our cultural um, hab uh, habits uh, of, of raising children that are quite different from the more relaxed approach of British women. I feel like, yeah, English moms and English parenting in general is much more gentle and geared towards the children, whereas in France maybe we ask the children to fit into our lives more. Well, Allegra Stratton had that report, and with me now is the Education Minister, Liz Truss, also joined by Laura Perrins, who's the mother who challenged Nick Clegg on his radio phone-in programme, and Liz Bayram, the Chief Executive from Professional Association for Child Care and Early Years. Thanks uh, to you all for coming in. And Liz Truss, do you think French kids really are better behaved? Well, I think what I noticed in the French nurseries we visited is they do tend to be very calm and purposeful and they are very good at actually improving the outcomes of children later on in life and there's been some very good studies of the impact of French Ecole Maternelle which are positive. So I think the strong teacher leadership in those nurseries is really good. And um, is, is that the qualification of the teachers in charge or is it the numbers or is it a discipline that's introduced? What do you think I, th is. I think the qualifications of the teachers is really important and that's one of the main factors in the outcomes for children and the more qualified the teacher generally the better the outcomes are and that's true in studies in Britain but also for studies in France. I think though that the structured environment they operate in enables them to hire those high quality teachers so it's a there's a relationship between the two. Ms. Baron, what do you hear when this trust talks about high quality teaching and that difference that we see in France? I think there's, there's a very different language in terms of the conversations that we have with our members, childcare professionals, nursery workers, childminders. They talk about children enjoying their time in childcare, learning through play and having a very much mixed balance of child-led experience as well as adult teacher-led experience mm -hmm. and that's at the very heart of the earliest foundation stage which is the framework we currently work on within England and I think you can't disentangle high quality from qualifications or indeed from ratios it's both. What do you mean by that you can't disentangle it? I think it? The, the, the key factors for a good quality experience for children are high quality one-to-one -one interactions with their adult carer and that that's about the number of children you're looking after at any one time that allows you to provide them with those play-led opportunities and yes of course and play -led the qualifications. Is in that, well, right? We're talking about two-year-olds, what, 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 what we're talking here is about structured play. Of course we're not talking about three-year-olds sitting down at desk writing things but we are talking about teacher-led activities and what we do know is the impact of the teacher is the most important thing. The level of qualifications is the most important factor. It's been shown to be the case in France is it has in England and only a third of our nurseries are led by graduate teachers even though we know that that's the most important factor so uh, yes interaction between adults and children is important but also socialization between children is important learning to take turns is important all of those kind of things and you do need structure and what I really worry about is some of the children in the most deprived areas who don't have structure in their family backgrounds 
need that structure when they get to nursery so they can learn, they can be ready for school. And what we know is a third of children arrive at school without those communication and language skills that I do think that more structured play delivers. And do they not get that if they are at home with their parents as opposed to being in an organised group? I think they get it in both environments and I'm very supportive of childminders, I want there to be more childminders in Britain, there are more childminders per head in France at the moment and also I'm supportive of stay at home parents, I mean what we need is people to have a choice but the thing I pointed out in the film is that a lot of women, men have to go out to work for economic reasons and we need to make sure the childcare that they rely on is really high quality and what you get in France is a sense of a continuum, you get a system you can rely on so you can make your choice secure in the knowledge that your child is getting a really good early education. Laura Parent. The Minister have accepted that um, many many parents have to go out to work and the reason for that is that this government has actively discriminated against stay-at-home moms and single-income families by penalising them in the tax system and stigmatising them in the language they use, implying that they're lazy and not hard-working.